father has been dealing with, yeah, now we're really live, aren't we? Shane Richmond's father, Marcus, has been dealing with some health issues. I don't know anything beyond that. Uh, very, very nice man, uh, not from around this area, but please remember uh, Marcus in, his, in your prayers. Uh, we're going to pray for Laney House and Melinda Woods and also uh, Linda Taylor, if I remember correctly, was brought to our attention. All three have been diagnosed with COVID. Uh, Melinda especially has just gotten over the flu. So please keep all of them in your prayers uh, that they will have a speedy recovery. Austin Morgan's ACL surgery was Tuesday was successful. However, he is dealing with a lot of pain at this time. Uh, please continue to pray for him for a speedy recovery. Let me see here. I have here Wednesday night evening meals will be continuing next Wednesday, okay? So plan on coming, have good fellowship. Uh, next Wednesday at 515, we'll be resuming our Wednesday night meals before service. And also the next day, which will be Thursday the 6th, the ladies will have, be having their Bible study at Thursday morning at 10 a.m., January the 6th. Uh, I wish I had Gina here to make sure I got it right that time. I, she's not here, but that, that sounds great. I got a thumbs up right there. Uh, 10 a.m., and I think it will be from now on on Thursday mornings here at the building. So if you want to be a part of that, part of that Bible study, ladies, please plan to attend that next week. We're going to be having the New Year's Eve game night for the teens here at the building. Uh, this upcoming Friday at 6.30, going to have a bunch of pizza, a bunch of games, maybe throw some ice cream and stuff in there. It'll go from 6.30 till 30 minutes after midnight. We'll have a Devo at midnight. Uh, it'll be a great time. Anybody wants to come by and uh, party with us for a little bit is welcome to do that. Listen to a good devotional, play some games. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we invite all the teens and their friends, whoever they want to bring, feel free to come. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> I see here the last one we got is the website is currently down still yet. We're still having some issues with that. So if you are accustomed to making your donations to the church online, they're asked that you will please mail those in or give them in person at this time. Uh, we apologize for any inconvenience. They're working very diligently to try to get that website back up at this time. And that's all I have. Anybody else have any announcements that I missed by chance? Well, it is singing night. I know of one little boy already who wants to do some singing. Uh, I don't see maybe a couple more that might jump here. Open mic night, basically, okay? After the young ones get their, get their songs, any, any gentleman that feels like they have a song in their heart they want to share to God and with us, please feel free to come up here. Uh, and after that, an opening prayer here in just a few minutes, Ron Marsh will lead us opening prayer. Um, I will have our song leading devotional by Steve Culp and closing prayer by Alan Gossett. Let's go opening prayer at this time. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this, another opportunity to assemble together to study that word, sing praises to your name, and fellowship with fellow Christians. For just a little while, put aside our cares and troubles of the world and turn our minds and hearts to thee. We ask that you be with the loved ones that were mentioned in the announcements that are sick and struggling with health issues, recovering from surgery, that you be with them, return them to the health as quickly as possible. We ask that you be leaders of this land as they make decisions. May they be in accordance to that will and be the benefit of the people. Be with each of us tonight as we turn our minds and songs to thee. In Christ's name, amen. Cameroni. I will not try to do that. All right, what are you going to sing for us? Jesus loves me. Okay, you're going to start up. Ready? Jesus loves me. That's fine. Oh, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones do.
Uh, how many of you know Blessed Be Your Name? Okay. He really wanted to lead it, but he only knows the chorus, so I'm going to try to lead it the best I can here for you. <clears throat> Blessed be your name in the land that is plentiful, where the streams of abundance flow. Blessed, blessed be, be your, your name. name. And blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. And every blessing you pour out, I turn back to praise. When the darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Blessed be your name when the sun's shining down on me, when the world's all as it should be. Blessed be your name, and blessed be your name on the road marked with suffering though there's pain in the offering blessed be your name every blessing you pour out i turn back to praise when the darkness closes in lord still i will say blessed be the name of the Blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name. Four seventy four. Four seventy four. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for loving me, and thank you, Lord, for blessing me. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole and saving my soul. I want to thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Let us all with one accord sing praises to Christ the Lord. Let us all unite in song to praise him all day long. I want to thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Please reveal your will for me so I can serve you for eternity. Use my life in every way. Take hold of it today. I want to thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul, I want to thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. <clears throat> I've been singing this whenever I'm getting up here for song night. 117. 117. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
God is the fountain winds, 10,000 blessings flow to him my life, my health and friend, and every good I owe, the comforts he affords are neither few nor small. He is the source of fresh delights, my portion and my all. He fills my heart with joy, my lips attunes for praise, and to his glory I'll devote the remnant of my days. One thousand and five. One thousand and five. <clears throat> oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining afar through shadows dim, giving a light for those who long have gone, and guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. Oh, give us our light to light the way into the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star, the hope of light, guiding the pilgrim through the night over the mountain till the break of dawn and into the light of perfect day it will give out a lovely ray beautiful star of bethlehem shine on oh beautiful star of bethlehem Shine upon us until the glory dawn. Oh, give us thy light to light the way into the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star, the hope of rest, for the redeemed, the good, the blessed. Yonder in glory when the crown is won. For Jesus is now that star divine. Brighter and brighter he will shine. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawn. Oh, give us thy light to light the way 
into the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Number 991. 991. This is my Father's world. And to my listening is all nature sings and round me rings the music of the sphere. This is my father's world. I rest me. and trees of skies and seas is and the wonders wrought. This is my Father's world. The birds their carols raise. The morning the lily white declare their maker's praise. <coughs> Earth shines in all that's fair. <coughs> Lean grass I hear. have to quit on that. <coughs> I shouldn't have eaten supper before I came. <coughs> you don't mind if I get up here again, do you? <laughs> Uh, 718, we shall assemble, 718. <clears throat> we shall assemble on the mountain. We shall assemble at the throne with humble hearts into his presence. We bring an offering of song. Glory and honor and dominion unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, alleluia, alleluia. We sing the song of the redeemed. And then page 794. Unto thee, O Lord, page 794. <clears throat> Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that weigh on Thee be ashamed. Yea, let none that weigh on thee be ashamed. Oh my God, I 
trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. Remember not the sins of my youth. Remember not the sins of my youth. Oh my God, I trust in Thee. Let me not be ashamed, let not my enemies triumph over me. Good evening. We do have a good crowd tonight. Uh, let's turn to number 214. Number 214, have you seen Jesus, my Lord? Great song. We're going to sing the first. Get organized here. First, second, and last stanza, 214. Have you ever stood at the ocean with the white foam at your feet? Felt the endless thundering emotion? Then I say you've seen Jesus, my Lord, have you seen Jesus, my Lord? He's here in plain view. Take a look, open your eyes. He'll show it to you. Have you ever stood at the sunset with the sky mellowing red? Seen the clouds suspended like feathers? Then I say you've seen Jesus my Lord. Have you seen Jesus, my Lord? He's here in plain view. Take a look, open your eyes. He'll show it to you. Have you ever stood in the family? with the Lord there in your midst, seen the face of Christ in your brother, then I say, you've seen Jesus my Lord. Have you seen Jesus my Lord? He's here in plain view, take a look, open your eyes, he'll show it to you. Well, I hadn't heard that song in quite a while, great, great message. Well, I was thinking about the song Greg stole from me, but no, I'm just kidding. Uh, a thousand and one. No, I'm just kidding. It was close. Thousand and one, hark the herald angels sing. Let's, let's sing uh, all three stanzas. I don't know why we don't sing these songs other times of the year. They're, they're wonderful songs about the birth of Christ. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. 
Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ by highest heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord. Late in time, behold him come, offspring of the virgin's womb. Veiled in flesh the Godhead see, hail the incarnate deity. Pleases man with men to dwell, Jesus our Emmanuel. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, Hail the Son of Righteousness, Light and life to all He brings, Risen with healing in His wings. Mount He lays His glory by, Born that men no more may die, Born to raise the sons of men, born to give them second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. I don't know if we have any others, Zach, maybe... Oh, yeah. So I had uh, the one song I, I wanted to sing. I had many uh, guys lead this in college for uh, chapel. Uh, 250. How I love the great Redeemer Who is doing so much for me With what joy I tell the story Of the love that makes men free Till my earthly life is ended I will sing songs of love Beside the crystal sea, more and more my soul shall be praising Jesus ever love. He is everything. He is everything to me, and everything shall always be. I will never cease to raise a song of gladness in his praise. Here and in the world above, my soul shall sing of saving love. <clears throat> and joy is he. Precious friend who died for me. Glory be to him forever. Endless praises to Christ the Lamb. He has filled my life with sunshine. He has made me what I am. Oh, let it the 
mighty friend above and is his forevermore. He is everything. He is everything to me and everything. It'll always be. I will never cease to raise a song of gladness in his praise. Here and in the world above, my soul shall sing of saving love, life and life. And joy is he. A precious friend who died for me. Eight fifty one. Eight hundred fifty one. First and third verse. I hope y'all are feeling uplifted like I am. Uh, there's very few things that we could ever do to give praise to our God, and this is one of them. I, I'm just so thankful everybody's here to do that. And I hope you on Facebook are you're feeling it as well. This is great. Some glad morning when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. Yeah, brother. How do you kneel at the cross? Kneel at the cross? Yeah. You got it, buddy. Let me see. If you find the number for me, holler it out. 945. 945. <clears throat> kneel. At the cross, Christ will meet you there. He intercedes for you. Lift up your voice, leave him when you care, and begin life anew. Kneel at the cross. will meet you there. Kneel at the cross and give your idols up. Look unto realms above. Turn not again to life's sparkling cup. Trust always in his love. 
kneel at the cross. Leave every care, kneel at the cross. Jesus will meet you there. Amen. Great song choice, brother. Anybody else before we do our lesson? You want to sing it or you just want to call it out? What you got, buddy? Faithful love. Is that in the songbook, guys? Which one is? What's, what's the number? 18? Let's see if it's the version I know. Then we'll let Steve bring the word to us. All right. Looks like it's the version. If I veer off on another version now, y'all just kind of Hang on with me, okay? But this looks like it's it. <clears throat> Faithful love flowing down from the thorn-covered crown Makes me whole, saves my soul Washes whiter than snow Faithful love in these fear Reaches down, dries each tear, holds my hand when I can stand on my own. Faithful love from above came to earth to show the Father's love. And I'll never be the same For I've seen faithful love face to face And Jesus is His name Faithful love is a friend just when hope seems to end welcome face sweet embrace tender touch filled with grace faithful love endless power living flame spirits fire burning bright in the night guiding my way Faithful love from above came to earth to show the Father's love, and I'll never be the same, for I've seen faithful love to face and Jesus is his name Amen. Thank y'all for the good choices. I appreciate that. Uh, 552 will be our song after our lesson. Brother Steve. Well, it's good to have so many lead a song tonight and some I hadn't heard in a while and all very encouraging. Cheryl and I were at the uh, oncologist and as we suspected we'd looked at the imaging reports earlier but everything looks good. Um, so we're we're grateful for that. Uh, he uh, what was the phrase he used? Uh, uh, responding awesomely. So, anyway, we're very grateful for that. And there, another year is passing by very quickly. Uh, it's, it's hard to believe this, this year has passed by for all the crazy things going on. Tonight we're going to talk just a little bit from the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a cupbearer for the king. You know, they're the ones that taste the food, make sure they didn't get poisoned. The king of Persia, 
Israel had been carried off in captivity, but then they had been allowed to return. And Nehemiah was actually the governor of the land. He was given permission to go back and allowed to return to Judah. Nehemiah was not a priest. He was an ordinary person, ordinary man. He and Ezra led to a spiritual revival and rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem in 52 days. Pretty incredible. A lot of people looked at Nehemiah as a lesson in leadership. And I think those who aspire to, in, in anything from, from our work, from church activities, of leadership, this is a great, great book to read. Nehemiah had goals. Cheryl laughs at me. I try to have goals in life. And that's important. We need to have goals in life. We need to have goals in the church. We need to have goals for our families. Nehemiah had vision. He had persistence. We're not going to get in to read all the book, but we're going to glance at a few of the verses as, as we close here in a little bit. He had vision. He had persistence. But most importantly, he had prayer. Every time it was, came up something important, and maybe seemingly not as important, he prayed. I think most important to us from this book, God uses all manner of people in all places of life for his work. You know, we come from diverse backgrounds. We do different things. We have different occupations. We're from different places. But have you thought about that? God has placed you where you are for a purpose. Colossians 3.17, it says, Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord. You know, we could be a nurse. We could be a farmer. We could be a carpenter. We could be a health worker. Whatever we're doing, all these things do the very best for God's will. We're just going to go over, not read each one of these verses, but these are some of the prayers Nehemiah had. In Nehemiah 1, verses 4 through 11, when I heard these things, this is talking about the, the wall in Jerusalem. It had been destroyed, mostly. It was crumbling. He sat down and wept, but he prayed. He realized what was at task, and he set a goal and had a vision, but he prayed. In Nehemiah 2, 4, the king said to me, what do you want? Ask him this, and he prayed. He prayed the king was going to give him favor to send letters to go back and all kinds of material and supplies. What a blessing. But he prayed. Nehemiah 4, 4 through 5, hear us, O God, for we are despised all kinds of of those around who are trying to laugh, scorn, make fun, and even do battle. He had to commission some to wear a sword or a spear and others to work. So there were enemies all around. Hear us, O God, was another prayer. Nehemiah five nineteen. remember me with favor. The work was con continuing and moving on. Remember me with favor. You know, that almost sounds selfishly sometimes if we think about that, ask God to remember us. But when we have a good work in hand, it's not. Nehemiah 6, 9, strengthen my hands. When we have a good work, think about that. You know, whatever we're doing for the Lord, strengthen my hands. And then Nehemiah six fourteen, certainly his enemies. At the close of the book, well, not, not quite the close, but in, in Nehemiah 9, a lengthy from 5 through 38, they recount all the, they confess their sins, and they pledge to come back to God. They pledge to be God's people again. In... Uh, Verse 33, yeah. 
In verse 33, in all that has happened to us, you have remained righteous. This is referring to God. You have acted faithfully while we acted wickedly. Nehemiah recognized that the children of Israel had turned away from God. And this great awakening that they made was incredible. You know, I think the take home tonight is simply we can be ordinary. We think we can be ordinary and do extraordinary things for God. And we need to remember the power of prayer. There are some here tonight who we need to encourage or some that might, someone that might need to be baptized. We'll ask you if you'll come at this time as we stand and sing the invitation song. song if you don't mind brother before we do a closing prayer can we do let me get it pulled up right can we do 781 781 this is one of my favorites and I can't think of any better way than to end out our year of worship here at Grace Point than with a song that's titled, Thank You, Lord. I know we've done one tonight. I want to do this next one here because of everything he's done for us. We've had some hard times. We've had some good times. But you know what? Heaven is just waiting on the other side. And that is something to be thankful for. So let's end out on a high note here. For all that you've done, I will thank you. For all that you're going to do. For all that you've promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. And I thank you, thank you, Lord. Just for me, how I thank you, Jesus, I thank you, gratefully thank you, thank you, amen. Let's have our closing prayer. Let us pray. Most graciously, Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for letting us be here tonight and come and sing praises to you, Lord. 
Thank you for giving us the freedom that we are able to come and sing praises to you and to hear from your word. Lord, I pray that you all give us strength and the ability to be leaders. And somewhere or another, we can always be a leader. Whether in the forefront or behind the scenes, we all lead. Lord, I pray again that you be with a number of our congregation that uh, is ill, both within the congregation and in the family of those mentioned. Lord, I want to give thanks at this time that for Brother Steve and that he has had a good year, that everything was good with the uh, doctor today. Lord, I pray that you continue to be with him and, and give them, he and Cheryl, support. Lord, as always, thank you for the gift of your son. And be with us as we leave here and give us safe passage home. And as we go into the new year, that we always keep you in front in the highlight of our life. It's in Christ's blessed name we pray. Amen.